Something is rotten in the state of academia, certainly in the United States. As I say this, the student uprising at Evergreen State University is reaching a climax. Before that, we've had students protesting at Yale, and the less said about Missouri State University, the better. These are just off the top of my head. With a bit of research, I dare say I could come up with many more examples. Now, I'm not going to get into the politics of it all. I'm just going to outline one possible step towards a solution. As it is, I've always wanted something named after me, so, behold, Bowles University. Here's how it works. We don't have campuses, student dormitories, or lecture halls of any sort. What we do have is safe spaces, thousands of them. Because Bowles University exists entirely online, and students attend lectures by watching their computer screens in the safety of their own homes. Well, not entirely online, because there are physical centres where candidates both register for their courses and take their examinations. At both these points, candidates have to provide documentary proof of their identity to ensure that the person taking the examination is who he or she claims to be. There is no coursework. All assessment is by examination only. Of course, there's nothing new about the idea of an online university. Since the late 1960s, the British have had the Open University, in which people study for proper undergraduate degrees remotely. In those days, there was no World Wide Web, and apart from attending the occasional week-long residential course, studying meant watching pre-recorded lectures on the television and reading the books on the recommended reading list. Now we have the internet in all its interactive glory. Not only can people use it for watching video, but it can also support video casting, allowing students to interact remotely with their professors in seminars and the like. At Bowles University, lectures are recorded by professors, stored in a database and delivered to students on a pay-per-view basis, with each one costing a nominal amount in order to discourage students from sharing their account details with friends and family. Every time a lecture is viewed, and students can view them as many times as they like, the person who recorded it is paid a royalty, thus ensuring high quality of teaching. Students effectively vote with their wallets. Even with these small regular payments, getting a degree from Bowles University works out orders of magnitude cheaper than attending a campus-based university, thus opening up proper high-quality degree-level education to the impoverished masses. We accept any student prepared to enrol, and there are no time limits on length of study. Not every course can be adequately taught purely by observing a computer screen. Physicists and chemists need to get hands-on experience in the lab, and astronomers must gain familiarity with telescopes and other equipment, for example. The courses best suited to such an approach are the abstract, text-based ones, such as English literature and mathematics. Ironically, this includes courses like gender studies. Now, hold it right there. Bowles University does not teach gender studies. I repeat, Bowles University does not teach gender studies. When a student receives his or her degree, the details are entered into the Role of Honour database, which is available for employers to reference, so that they can verify any claim made on an applicant's CV. As an anti-hacking measure, this Role of Honour is backed up regularly to write only once media, such as DVD. Bowles University, and many more like it, could be the solution to the breakdown of the established order that seems to be going on up and down your country and mine. It doesn't have to be super successful, just successful enough to scare the conventional universities straight. If they find their pool of applicants going elsewhere, they might reassess exactly whether kowtowing to the cultural Marxists on their campus is quite such a good idea. There's nothing like a punch in the balance sheet to bring an institution to its senses. So there you are, Bowles University. Of course, it has one major drawback, namely that it only exists in my mind. But it's a possibility that could so easily be turned into reality. So what do you think? A stupid and irresponsible idea? Or an interesting notion with some potential? Please let me know in the comments. And now for the channel shout-out. Meet a friend of mine, Rosemary Rora. Rosemary is not only an avid reader, but also an up-and-coming author of horror fiction, and has recently launched her book review channel. I'm sure she'd appreciate a visit, so I've included the link to her channel below.